The films that we've seen show just what a caring county Suffolk is. We are brilliant at supporting those in need, whether it's volunteering, looking out for our neighbours, giving generously to Suffolk's Rebuilding Local Lives appeal. When we collaborate, we really can achieve great things. The crisis shows the power of Suffolk working together in partnership. So my first appeal is to the leaders across the county, whether it's the Suffolk County Council, East and West Suffolk Councils, district councils, leaders in health and social care, education, protecting the communities, whether it's voluntary sector or, uh, players in Haverhill or up in Lowestoft, business leaders looking to give back to their community. We must continue to work together for the common good, avoiding any return to silos, building the strong partnerships to support those in need across Suffolk. The pandemic is far from over. We know we are going to see continued adverse effects on the economy, impacting communities, families and individuals. The Hidden Needs Report highlights the long-term issues that we must now confront. We have brilliant charities and community groups that make up our voluntary sector. They need our help as never before. So my second appeal is to everyone across the county. Individuals, families, businesses, past donors, potential donors, public sector organisations, please help in whatever way you can to enable the Suffolk Community Foundation to deliver more support, starting with our winter appeal. We're now going to hear directly from two young people who've benefited from receiving in-depth support from projects created by Ipswich Community Media. And then we'll finish with a piece on Brian, a gentleman recovering from a serious illness in total isolation in his upstairs flat since March. All these examples show what a huge difference our support really can make. Thank you. This year's been one of the toughest years of my life, I'd say. Um, so it started off with my dad's dad passing away. Um, literally like the day we went into lockdown. My parents were struggling with their relationship and then they've separated now, so then we had to move. Then my mum's dad passed away. Well, I got quite down and I wasn't, I mean, obviously we're not allowed to leave the house properly, but like I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't talking to people, I wasn't doing music, I wasn't doing anything. I was really kind of just shut down. It's had a toll on depression and stuff like that. I was, a broken little piece of mess when I found out about this group for the first time. It literally, I remember telling, coming home and telling my mum, this, I, I can, I now have a reason to live for now. It's, it definitely keeps you on the right track, stops you from listening to yourself when you're thinking really negative things. And also, I don't know, it's just, it's something to look forward to because you're not the only person that needs to keep you feeling good. You know that there's people that as, as much as it feels like you're the only person in your house, in your bubble, you know that there's other people at the end of the phone who are like spurring you on, who are like thinking about you in the time that you're not there together, who are like on your side basically. Maybe things can be good in the future because there's like 20 people telling me that I can do it. So I, I literally cannot describe how much it has made an effect on my life. I probably wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for this group. Thank you for being there, being the people that has made all of this possible, basically. I was introduced to IHAG because I was being threatened with homelessness. I was a professional healthcare worker for over 25 years, became poorly, and within a matter of 16 months, I'd lost everything. And uh, yeah, that was, that was a hard pill to swallow, but. Um, it, it just goes to prove it can happen to anyone. I mean, it, IHAG is a stepping stone into independence, um, but it's a huge stepping stone. And it's a very, you know, it's a big safety net for a lot of people. It was for me, because I was very, very depressed. You know, I was anxious, I was scared. Um, the thought of actually sleeping on the streets absolutely terrified me. Personally, just like, like struggles with like the way they teach that like school and like the way like 
I did the way the way it was all structured. I couldn't deal with it. Oh, I felt claustrophobic in the classes, like, and it at home. My home life was getting quite like down because of like school and like how it was tiring me and stuff. And it just kind of made me like feel all like kind of alone. Just not the best person to be around. It's not how I want my future to be. I don't want to be this angry kid that, that this angry kid that no one wants to be around. And I didn't like that. My thing's music and like art, like anything creative to do with arts and media and stuff. But, but mainly music. Coming here, it brings me happiness. Just playing the piano, playing the guitar, making a song, making a, like composing music. Like mainly Jay, like who's in there now, my tutor, and like he's been like he's helped me through like personal issues, the studio, like obviously like teaching me different fundamentals to do with music. I'm now in college, I'm starting out and it's just it's I don't it's crazy for me, like it's still like breathtaking the fact I'm in college, you know, like studying a music course, thanks to studio, which they both come together and it's just like without everyone I wouldn't be where I am now. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to um, Punch Studios for obviously helping me with my ambitions and like making them come to life and like boosting my confidence to a whole new level, heading to like a brighter future, achieving new things and it's just like mind blowing and like mind blowing for my mum, for my for me, for my friends, like it's just it's good. It's like it makes me feel good about life. We are the IP seventeen good neighbour scheme in Saxmondham. I've got your prescription, Brian. There you go. It's all right, see you again next week. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it works. We get dinners and all sorts up there.